Hi everyone, welcome to Brick Vault, this is Mike and welcome to another top 10 mox video where we show awesome mocks from the passing week. Remember that this list is not entirely a ranking, it's more of a subjective choice, so feel free to disagree if you feel like number 10 is better than number 1 for you. Also at the end of the episode I am showing your fan creations that you guys are sending to our Brick Vault fan mocks email. If you want to send more, the email is on the screen and the rules are below in the description. And before we get further, I want you guys to check out our web store at www.brickvault.com toys where we are adding awesome mocks pretty much every friday and the latest mock or should i say a collection of mocks is the newest pack with five micro rebel ships and four micro imperial ships and there is of course a full video made by jack so i'm gonna leave a link below if you want to check out all the details as always guys every purchase you guys make in our web store supports our channel here at brick vault basically keeps us going and also supports the mock creators that work with us to deliver the amazing mocks in the store and here is number 10 for a simple start this one is coming from tamo s and it's a flock of maritime birds and a guest. I really love the expressions on these guys and how he used the skis for some of the uh, legs of the birds. And I think my favorite is the seagull on the right. It reminds me of that mine scene from Finding Nemo. Mine. On top of that, the red shank looks confused. The parrot looks very proud as they usually do. And the royal turn looks very glamorous with that captain's cap. Tamo also provided a breakdown picture if you want to build each and every one of them. Check out his Flickr page in one of the links below. He posts some really cool things, like for example this monorail inspired by one of the Simpsons episodes. Number 9 is quite frankly for all the Futurama fans out there. This is a set of brickheads from the famous show from Palixa and the Bricks. And there is actually a second set of characters. This designer posted the first pack of six uh, a few weeks ago. The first one included Calculon, Dr. Zoidberg, Hermes Conrad, Amy Wong, Keith Crocker and Zap Brannigan. Now we have the addition of the majority of the main cast. We got Nibbler, Turanga Lila, the main character Philip Fry, no one else but Bender, Professor Farnsworth and the Mom. And I was trying to figure out if these are renders. I think they're not, they're just real builds, which is awesome. And they look actually so good, we're gonna try to get our hands on them and maybe build them for the studio. Such an awesome build, thanks for that one, Palixa. And it really makes me wanna watch a few more Futurama episodes. With number 8, I wanna introduce the mech or mechs of the week, actually two of them. Those builds are coming from Mishima. The first one is more traditional of a sci-fi mech, that is the alien mech suit, or more specifically a xenomorph mech suit. Looks like a result of taking the power loader that Ellen Ripley was using and switching the looks entirely to how the xenomorph looks like. It's really awesome looking, fits a minifigure of Sigourney Weaver's character, has all the traits of a full xenomorph, like the long head and the massive claws. It's cool that you actually can remove the head as a helmet and just unfold the minifigure's head. And I guess that is what an ultimate melee fighting mech would look like. The second one, however, from this builder is a bit more funny, a bit more laid back. That is an upgrade from the designer's son's uh, shark mech. A small build turned epic if I may. And what are we looking at is a colorful, well, shark mech with a shark head and a massive weapon in one of the hands. Kinda has those aqua shark vibes, a Lego theme from the 90s. The color combination actually looks great and Dad did an excellent job portraying the sun's creation. And I always admire such creative builds in Lego, so much kudos for this one. Oh, and I should also mention that there is an alligator mech as well, by the way. Enough mechs for now, we have number 7 coming from Pixel Junkie, the car creator, and again two pretty awesome builds from him. The first one is a 1955 Chevy Bel Air. Not only the car is beautiful and captures the vibe of this beauty very very well, but as usual Pixel Junkie portrayed the car in his awesome built garage. A bunch of scenes were created and it shows the process of getting this car fixed. There is also the exploded view mock which is very creative and I think one of the best ones that he made so far. And on top of that he also posted the Ford Model T in a very good looking scale and not only the model looks excellent even with those golden custom chromed pieces but features a convertible function which is a genius feature on its own. Seriously check out this guy's Flickr page because he posts some epic things and many of his mocks were featured in our videos. Number 6 comes from Henjin Quilons and that is a perfect example of a very good light usage in LEGO photography. This mock here is called the Library of Druidam and you can tell that the build is fairly simple with a fireplace, stacks of books, some chairs and general library equipment but what really 
really gives this scene some life is the lightning both from the window on the side from the fireplace i guess using a light brick and just that angle of photography and the use of shadows is what makes this whole thing really pop creates this unique atmosphere for a photograph and that is not the first of his he also posted this one the hall of druidam similar result but it seems like a different time of day and such pictures should be a great example on how to use lighting not only in lego photography but in photography in general Moving up to number 5, this one is for the fans of Snake and Metal Gear Solid. If you played Metal Gear Solid 5, you can remember that there was this chopper that was extracting you and getting you into the missions. Cosine Pico, that was the UTH-66 Blackfoot helicopter. A fictional one based on real designs possibly from the Black Hawk and the Super Stallion helicopters. And this build from Marius Herman really depicts the vehicle very well. One of the most iconic things in the Phantom Pain looks very nice in its dark grey scheme. He is using custom minifigures from Metal Gear solid but they just look good in this helicopter there is the opening door feature some custom decals i played the game a lot so i more than appreciated this build in this week's list here is something cool for the number four spot this is coming from jaifa and we have ark of the dragon tamer along with jila the great salamander and i really cannot choose which build is better both are excellent using a mix of bionicle building techniques along with some lego bricks we have a very cool effect i think what stands out the most is the salamanders or dragon's head and neck with some very cool angles and especially the build for the eyes of the dragon along with the mouth the tail of the creature also captures the eye and for arc of the character i think the face is the most striking looks a bit demonic but still very cool the whole chest build is very nice with the ninja go hat in the middle and even the knee pads of the character deserve some very good part usage points that is a flicker page worth checking out definitely jaifa is very talented in such builds just a reminder that all the links to these awesome artists are below going into the top three for this week we have the unusual micro build this is the model of the interlace building from singapore made by daniel stufler and even though this building exists in real life for like five years now this is the first time i saw it one of the coolest concepts of residential building i have ever seen to be honest and if you compare the real thing with the model it is very very close depiction the building looks very futuristic like a irregular stack of some super modern containers the build is using a bunch of grill pieces to depict that look the scale of it is something around 1 to 800 according to the designer and i'm not sure about you but after seeing the model and the real thing for this episode i want to visit singapore even more than i did before and take a bunch of pictures of this thing in real life very cool and i guess just by doing some research for lego you learn something every day Number two is coming from Mitsuru Nikaido, a builder known for doing mecha anything. This time it's a mecha koalakanth. If you do not know this species, I did not either. Some research told me, however, that this is a deep sea fish, actually a very endangered species and an animal very close to the prehistoric ones it is worth doing some research it's a very cool animal i highly encourage you to do so the build itself is the usual quality coming from mitsuru the body is very well made i guess it's possible to a point like a fish the creature has a bunch of things i think eight of them and all of them are recreated in this build there is the creepy looking head like the usual deep sea fish have and i think that is a very cool topic to inspire such an epic build you can also expect quite fine level of photography from mitsuru so if you want to check out these pictures in full resolution there is the link below of course and for number one i want to honor actually two different sci-fi builds i really found them to be pretty awesome this week the first one is coming from rad dude this is named the last paradise and i think what it is is the ultimate post-apocalyptic home on wheels or tracks to be specific and living or moving in that thing i guess there is no fear of any zombies coming by it has a bunch of containers stacked together for different purposes like living quarters storage equipment solar panels power systems all this stuff you you can even grow your own veggies and herbs in the garden and if it wasn't enough the whole thing is powered and is actually moving and i think that overall it's a very cool concept meticulously recreated in this cool lego form and the last build for this week somewhat exact with the previous one comes from marco den besten it is called the gdi or the griffon deep space initiative inspiration for the looks of the base and the name comes from tiberian sun a common conquer game where gdi was standing for global defense initiative but this one is more space related looks like a moon base a bunch of really cool vehicles you can possibly spot a mech here and there as well alien looking terrain with some tiberium or other mineral being harvested 
And yes, the inspiration is real because it does give me those Command & Conquer vibes and I played these games a lot. There is also a video showing a lot of things moving in this diorama, so check this one out, you won't be disappointed. And that was the last mock for this week's top 10 guys, I hope you enjoyed it, if you did, leave a like and subscribe if you have not already and click the bell button of course, we always appreciate it. And now it is the time to show off your fan mock creations that you keep sending to our email. If you wanna submit more for next week, the links and the rules are below. Appreciate you guys very much, thanks so much for watching again, it was Mike and I'll see you next time on Brick Vault.